but expectations, you know, even here versus big, which is maybe not one of the hardest teams in the group potentially, but still a hard team, yeah, speaking, universally speaking. Speaking of previous players that have made a little comeback, here's Keto moving from what was Big Omen Academy back to the main roster, replacing Tizian for this season. But obviously, again, not a stranger to the roster, so cool to have him back. I know Maui will be a happy man. As Keto opens up with two kills from ramp, making that uh, P250 look easy. Gets closer towards Hexed. Bit of an unknown quantity Hexed is on the international stage. Young Canadian player. And he's now down, so nice and easy. This pistol round bigs. Four kills, bomb plant, nothing EG can do to stop it. Yeah, they didn't they really stand a chance. Well, do you know what part of Canada he's from by any chance? I don't, actually. Okay. No. Nope. To pass judgment on him. Maybe it's the prairies. I don't know. We don't have, yeah, do we have could, any prairies. Yeah, prairie boy. Not too often. Maybe a Scotia boy. I was part time coaching a team with one player from uh, Saskatchewan. Okay. Very nice kid. There are people out there. He is so nice. Oh. And he was really good, but he actually took a break. Aris, come back. We need you. More the merrier. Big take pistol, and now Big are going to take that B site. And guess what? They're going to take it for free because it's completely understaffed. Evil Genius is going for that mid stack up with their measly pistols. They didn't spend a dollar on this round. Yeah, well, you don't make money by spending it. That's not true. A wise man once said, scared money don't make money. Yes. Used to play for EG, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's from Manitoba. 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 Underrated Canadian city, maybe. I don't know. Never been there. Yeah. Um, I have. I don't really have any... Strong opinions? No strong opinions. No? Nothing negative nor positive? No. But to be honest, as long as it's Canada, it's going to be hard for me to find something negative. Oh. Oh. Oh, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sounds like a little bias, bud. Yes, it is. Here we have it. EG's first buy. Let's go. Three's on the A4. Got a few switch routers. I feel like Magisk has given us the best highlight reel with it so far. He did make it look viable, but don't fall for it. Okay. It was just propaganda. He had a great day. Can't believe anything you see on the internet nowadays. But believe it or not, big straight into another A exec. And this time it's going to be once again, just like last round, free for the most part. No contact. Hell, barely any combat. Cirque starts to fire off in connector, but Hex just gave up a bunch of space, wanted to stay alive. And there comes Keto through that smoke alongside Favin. And then the oh. peek over towards ramp from Neelan gets shut down. That could have been an excellent second opening for EG. They'd have a 5v3, you know, an assault on both sides of the site. But now they're just going to have to try and press their way through jungle, through that ticket crossfire that Whoa. Favin suddenly cuts down. Two clean headshots and an additional kill from Favin. Three on the round as Tabson lights him up. Damn. All right. Well, I thought there was a chance if Fang got his kill on the flank because he was very timely with it. But Fang? Yes. Wait. Neelan? Oh, Neelan, right. I'm wearing glasses too. <laughs> that's the funny part. Um, he was super quick with the, with the flank and they played with low info on A. So it, it wasn't exactly a counter what Big did because sometimes you give up the A site purposefully, but they did a lot with the space really quickly and the meta is taking place. I think that's, that's the way to improve NA the most. I think you can improve multiple players having a coach from there and an IGL as well, as opposed to just taking like a star player or someone very good. Which has really been the formula before. Yes. You know, guys like Pimp, guys like Simple. Yeah, we almost had Kerrigan. Oh man. We were close. If only. I don't know if Breeze well. knows that experience best, but yeah, this is, this is true. This is one of those times where we bring in an IGL and a coach. A new North American and European fusion cuisine. A fusion of Desert Eagles and five sevens here for EG. Cirque on the scout. It's now been five years that Cirque has been playing in North America. Crimbo comes around that cat corner, spots the shoulder of Breeze and pops him pretty quickly. So it's going to be a tough job for Rush to stop anything at this point. Loses his two teammates. You know, those pistols all have to come together like an orchestra, a crescendo of eco kills. Hiding in the corner is going to net him absolutely nothing. Flawless start so far from Big. Easy does it 4 0. Yeah. I think the map has been played pretty standard so far, so it looks easy enough for Big. Let's see if we try a new flavor for EG, if they go for um, an aggressive play early. And it's not that they haven't, they just tried to do something quick in mid, there was nothing there. 
Went back to a standard retake. Let's see if they can make the map look a bit more asymmetrical. And it looks like bigger. Just yeah, they're not gonna think about this very much. Go for another potentially quick A hit. Hex playing close to the A ramp smoke, so he'll be the early warning system. And could even potentially, you know, stop the exec before it begins. Oh, boost over top of the smoke. Oof, that's tricky. Had he pressed closer to that smoke, which is what it looked like he wanted to do for half a second, maybe he could have caught that boost off guard, but instead that little hesitation and fallback finds himself on 44 health. Neelan trying to come over to help him, but Hex is just getting bombarded by utility. Nice delivery, nonetheless. Had a chance at a second kill, but Searson on the M4 pops two noggins. And Big are going to catch their breath real quick before they follow through into this A site. They'll have to deal with Cirque holding Jungle Cross. Buys a bit of time for Breeze to get closer towards Ticket, uh -oh. but Cirque burns all the way down to a measly 12 HP. And Rush has no vision whatsoever, but comes over top of the stairs with a double kill. Woo. Clean. Finally, we get EG with something. A man advantage here. 45 seconds left to finish. Breeze playing on default. Rush stuck on stairs, and the timing there works wonderfully for Breeze as he comes around the corner to give Rush that third kill and EG's first round. I mean, solid round by Rush, basically. Stop that attack completely, getting through the smoke on that timing. And then Breeze does the rest, sneaking into the side of default and getting a kill in half for himself, so... This is beautifully done. And again, with how simple and fast Big have been moving, I think it's catching EG off, off guard a tiny bit, but maybe now they'll cha change gears. Underclass play. Quick one from Neelan. Gets tagged up by the grenade. But Krimbo can't throw that Molotov because of the smoke. Searson from M4 to AWP. Now Big are technically, you know, firing on all cylinders. Ooh. They want to get him out. Ooh, Big do not peek him from both sides of the box, so... He's able to escape. And... They're kind of curdled up here uh, in front of Connector. It's not a bad place to have two players. We've actually seen more teams play two top Connector, I think, than ever before. And a lot less on Cat these days for some reason. It's quite a quiet and standard map right now. So if Neelan is here and they don't molly him, yeah, then he has an opportunity as the smoke comes up to get the kill. And wow, he manages to escape. He's getting away with murder. Skates right between the two. Drop low, Breeze. Off top con, two clean headshots. Oh, how about three <laughs> clean headshots and a potential for that fourth Tapson? No, he's got other ideas. But as he comes up from that ramp, he doesn't catch Hex on top of Ticket. So Neelan kind of dodging danger between those Molotovs yeah. and then a very crispy 3K from Breeze. That's the Breeze we all remember. And I think, you know, a lot of people were calling from Breeze's head. You see a round like this and you're like, all right, it's easy to call out problems, but what's the solution? How do you replace somebody like this? He, when he's playing well, of course, Breeze is one of the best North American players, period. So, showing his value here. And a nice move by Neelan. I feel like he got away with a lot in that one. So, you know, we'll see if he can keep it going. But I like the energy. Like, looking for info, not playing blind, not asking his team to gamble, rotate around. And also hitting his shots. So, we got the highlight reel moment from Rush. We got one from Breeze. Next up should be Cirque. Bobbin gets out from ramp. He's carrying bomb right now, so it's at the forefront of this push from Big. Hex just got tagged by that sniper down to 12 HP, Neelan. Still pushing out the damage, so making things a little awkward, and it's Cirque with first blood. That's one. Bobbin gets by oh, with the bomb. bomb. Yeah, still on his back. Oh, insta headshot into Breeze. But now he's so far committed into jungle that it seems like a difficult task to get the hell out of there. So wow. he just delivers that bomb straight to the feet of Rush and poor Krimbo's 1v3 32 health seems incredibly unlikely. That took some balls for Rush to just jump into the window like that. He knew exactly where Fobin was. And that Fobin was pretty unlikely to move, right? He had teammates in connector. It was kind of scary for him to exit, but he took the risk and made sure there was no play for him to go 
through the back murder hole, which was open, and into the B site. I wonder what it was that just kind of magnetized Fobin further and further through that jungle. Just no one saw him. So I, when you pass by triple after sandwich, the last angle you have to worry about the guy on the A site, it's either the reverse of firebox or CT at that thin angle. Once he was there and the smoke is up on Khan, it's like you, you really don't even have a way to stay on the site, actually. It's important to get to a better spot. I think he would have rather had not had the bomb. For sure. But it made sense in the moment. Oh, my God. Wow. What a shot. All right, then, Tapson. Searson. Wow, he's supposed to get chased down by Neilan, but then a Desert Eagle at the back of the dome, and Krimbo's got himself another sexy one dig. That's two in for big, an uncomfortable five versus three out of nowhere. I mean, these Desert Eagles don't even have Kevlar barring Favin. Yeah, so this is actually still winnable, but now the Deagles are ever more comfortable. And they're so deep through this A site, you know, trying to get back mid, and, and EG, they were chasing ghosts. They're looking for those fights in middle, but in reality, they've lost the entire half of that A side of the map. Rush finally gets something back for EG, but I mean, God, you must feel like you're surrounded by ghosts at this point. Players turning corners, dying from all directions. If he's able to clear Keto up close, he still has murder hole to deal with, plus the player back on ticket. So three players pinch in on Rush, and with one single armored Desert Eagle, we're talking big with a robbery in mid. Yeah, those are some great shots. Started by taking out Cirque on the op, right? The top of connector here. It's a pretty insane one from Tapson, right on the money. And then uh, they cover the refrag, so amazing shot from Krimbo. Nealon was like, all right, let's stop this problem before it starts. They know they Dirk. It's moments like that you regret kind of not, you know, flashing for the second kill. Someone to flash from A over the over mid, but it's such a tight timing. Like if, he, if they do just try to rambunctiously get into the window, I'm, I'm like too late for that. And then the other option is go back to window and wait. But if he doesn't come, then I've just let him escape. So you can see a little impatience from Nealon. I think it's good to have at least one player like that, you know, bring the hampus, bring the art. Killer instinct. Yeah, exactly. Whatever part of the brain it is that senses danger, you just you just remove that. Yes. The pineal gland, maybe. I don't know the amygdala. Yeah. yeah. Prefrontal cortex, perhaps. Sure, that would be an important one to lose. I think that's where all the stuff that makes us human is. But being human is what makes us scared, and we need to deal with that. <laughs> Can't wait till we can choose what to turn off and on. Yeah. When's that software update coming? Yeah, I'm tired of smelling your foot. <laughs> okay, dude. <laughs> Gangrene over here in the green room. <laughs> Tabson just waiting on catwalk for anything to happen, but nope, Neilan's just going to play it patient. Cirk goes down, Hext is next. And Keto, with those couple of kills, clears out that A site nicely. Rush moves over. Nothing to be found. So a sixth terrorist round win for big already. Only nine rounds deep. And they're right back in control of the situation. Little half by doesn't work out for EG. What comes next? Feels like bigger are absolutely in control of the pace. They kind of do what they want with it. Doesn't mean that they're going to win, but... EG put himself in positions to be ready for that opening duel. Oh, okay. That's another duel. Actually, Cirque loses out in connector. This time, Searson's blind. Still hits it. And they get window faster than ever. Ooh, freeze. Doesn't finish off that spray. and comes around the cat corner, Rush playing a little angle, but that one's going to allow for them to walk along the wall. Uh-oh, they're already through. They're flanking B now. Oh, he hits that dink and just gets shredded by Searson. A chance at a lineup. Hex, he gets the one in the distance. Won't be able to finish the guy up close. And so yet again, Big just doing whatever the... Oh, hold on. We got a player behind him. Hello. Nealon deals with it. Incredibly low keto, 16 health on Tabson. This is a winnable clutch. 
but with that push, that was supposed to be the end of him. Krimbo, he's the guy who had all the HP for this T side, and then as he goes with that nade into the windowsill, he finds himself scoped up on and taken down. Damn. They're just, uh, they're getting away with everything, so... Yeah, this is another duel, of course, an important one, and the flash comes out, so it hits Searson. He's only half blind, but he's already on the angle. That's the real problem. He's just gonna shoot. I guess there's not really a better way for Cirque to play that, apart from peeking it from some different angle, but, you know, they threw the utility. That is gonna happen sometimes, but it, of course, has a big impact on the round as it moves forward, as we can see. Desperation starting to sink in. Yeah, maybe they should consider boosting ladder room at the beginning of the round because then they cover window and ladder room and big have been using uh, window against them so many times now. So even if it wasn't a game plan, I think you need to be malleable, you know, just in case if, if there's a style that you could use that you're that you feel like is, is not work wouldn't work for you in practice. Maybe it's time to bring it back. Following gun round, we'll keep an eye on it for now. It's just the three pistols left towards ticket. The EG OGs in Cirque, Breeze, and Rush. No kit, but a smoke. And then the other thing is that um, if players are getting to the bench, another play that we haven't seen yet that I feel like would be very good. So we saw Neelan push underpass to catch the B-ups. Yes. That's good. But sometimes just jumping out of the window and putting a smoke in underpass and, and just holding your off angle towards connector, that's a really great way to catch someone doing any fast connector strats. These are two things that Big have done a lot that EG have not responded to, except for trying to have Circ op connector. So there's options for them to try. So we sit with high hopes for a little variation, EG. Neelan heading towards mid already, but nobody there to boost him. So Breeze will come around from Catwalk instead. Neelan smoked out, immediately throws himself back towards Connector. Maybe a little aggression towards A ramp by the looks of things, but Breeze getting caught towards ladder makes things very awkward. A little sloppy in mid now. Phew. This is three rounds that they've just lost the opening duel to an op. And Rush is going to have a lot to deal with here. Already three players down on him. Insta-kill and another round where Big can just seemingly do no wrong. Yeah. Keto is not going to stop. Why would he? Tearing him up at the moment. Neelan blindsided. Bomb goes down in a 5v2 where there was never even a chance for the hold. Yeah, and you can see that's just the whole side of the map, right? With Neelan inside of the window, there's no one else holding it down on Cat. Everybody and their grandmama knows how important that 5v4 is. But when we see how quickly it comes down, it doesn't feel like it should have an impact on the round. But immediately after they get the kill, they do a strat that complements where they got that opening duel right away. So that's where the 5v4 does have a huge amount of impact. Thing is too, right? You brought it up. Boosting inside a window. You do that. It's not like Breeze was trying to fight off Catwalk. You're just trying to get through the doorway. Gets snipped on the way in. Yes, Boost, exactly. You're in that spot safely. But yeah, here's the other thing. I mean, this could be smoked as well, right? Like the Furious style smoke on Cat. But they could boost up on the signpost and they can also sneak into ladder room. They can delay, I think, is the big thing. I mean, mm. I feel like a huge priority right now should be try not to die in the first 30 seconds and then see what Big want to try to do. Big on fire with the economy and the going the way of big. Multi kills are just going to keep coming. Taps it. There it is. Sprays down the second. Breeze out of this one. That's the MP9s in the dirt. Pistols left over. And if big just want to continue doing whatever the hell they damn well please. Not going to be much to stop them. Rush will find a deke headshot. Make that a double with the deagle. But then Keto right there to trade it back in 10 3 in what feels like, what, six minutes? I know. Super fast. Man, now that the problems start to compound. It's facing a team that feels like they can't lose. They haven't really even gone that deep with it yet. Okay, well, full buy again. Lots of utility, off in play. They can do anything. I really think, you know, mid is where they could just gone nonstop. So any kind of option towards here is 
going to be imperative. Ooh, nice play, Crimbo. Oh. We've seen that smoke before from Neelan when he comes through underground. Yeah. This time, Crimbo doesn't sit back where he wanted the Molotov it. He just barrel stuffs him point blank. Yeah. Five versus four, again, in the first 15 seconds. Yeah. It's a deflating way to die, so let's see what they can do from here. Well, they do have ladder room presence this time around. It's an edge. But uh, now it leans towards A, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and that 5v4, even, you know, right out of the gate, too, so hold on to ladder all you want. Smoke blocks Hex from doing anything. Some desperate spams through, but Tabson slips off the pole. Oh, they're so slimy. They've got across the site. Really not fought anybody on A. Everybody's rotated around them. Breeze finds one at least here. Smokes to fade, trying to continue that fight versus oh, X. Ow! What? Does Tapson turn that up into the window? Come on, man. It's Hex's big Glen. It's you can't do that to him right at the gate. That's crazy. Welcome to the big leagues. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is just so obvious for Krimba. And the last round we saw it's kind of been B defaulting like Axel does, throwing his HE grenade, just waiting for a fast push to come every single time. And uh, here, he just, he sees this, like you mentioned, he sees the same smoke that he saw in the past rounds. Okay, what's the other way that he could play it? The funny part is, he used the gimmick version of that smoke where you actually push through. Otherwise, it could have just signaled that he's spotting connector or standing at the, on the mid side of underpass, but he's never actually done that yet. Hex pinned down by ticket. Feels like Hex for the most of this half has just been pinned behind smokes or behind cover. Hiding out in jungle. Peeling back towards ticket. Occasionally we get him inside of ramp, but it's never been enough. Not only from him, but just anybody else really, right? Big moment from Rush off of the staircase. Big moment for Breeze as well inside of this A site. But barring those two big 3Ks from those players, we get nothing really. Nation on the T side of Mirage here. Evil geniuses calcifying into that fourth place in Group C. Only four rounds away from victory is big. And there is zero signs of Keto slowing down. Tabson slowing down. 19 and 17 kills apiece. EG just can't keep up, but they will try their damnedest to break through into this B-bomb site. Start it with a pistol win, and who knows what comes after, but wow, that's flashes. a clean couple kills off those flashbangs. Nice. Nicely done from Rush right there. Both players in the site totally blind, and even had Primbo eat the first one and just chill because he thinks he's good for the second one and gets blind again, so well played. So to kick it off. Tapson can't get out from the market. Searson and Keto, two versus five attempts. And they get cut down by Breeze and Nealon. So a little life left in EG, sure enough. Yes. T side's going to be a little bit of a climb, but a nice strat right here. And there's that second flash. Krimbo does not know who killed him. Nice, boys. We needed that. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Rush with the blunt truth. And the only thing more soul crushing would be to lose this follow up. So you got to be cautious. Anytime Searson's got a scout, big have a chance. Shout out to Keto for this uh, 20 and 5 scoreline. Poor Nealon. Okay. Pummeled down to 36 off nades. Some of those nades as well were things I was wondering. Like, we didn't see that in the first. I mean, Tabson was crossing boxes every round. Not really stopping them in mid. I don't even know if we ever saw two players push up cap from, from EG CT side. They only did that that pistol round, right, where Nealon went all the way on the flank, or the second round, something like that. But, yeah, not that often. So, immediately on this defensive half, big show a bit more pressure. And it's enough to get them out of there. Nealon, 4 HP. Quick exchange of smoke grenades with a molly in the middle. Hex stays back into the underground. So we're going to get EG grouping up outside of that A site. We got Keto in the bomb site, though. 20 and 5 Keto, who took his benching from big, went back down onto the Academy League. Did okay down there. Has come back and destroyed so far this map. Still got it. Hanging on. 
ready for those headshots, but he misses his chance. Hexton rush with the entries. Comfortable A site opened up here for EG, so it looks like it's not just a pistol win, but a conversion right thereafter. Yeah, very clean one, too. Looked a little scary at first with Nealon eating all that utility damage at the beginning of the round, but he didn't die. And it doesn't... Well, we'll see if anyone dies. Yes, the duallys get one. That's Hex dead in the underpass. One gun handed over. Just a Galil, though. Might as well leave it on the ground. I'd rather have the duallys. Nice deke from Fauvin. I can't remember. Was Fauvin also a big Omen Academy kid? Yes. Fauvin, he was too, right? He was the caller. Crimbo as well. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Crimbo is the caller. Okay. No, sorry. Fabin uh, came from Sprout. Ah, yes. Yeah. Right, right. So it's Crimbo we're talking about. Yeah. Add that to the tally of Academy players here at the Blast Fall groups. Remember the map track with the nades and shit? They're kind of both touted as the, you know, best up-and-coming German players that weren't on big. So right. cool to see that they both got their chance. And talking about Tizian earlier, I think Tizian's value, I mean, it's kind of like a player's player, I guess. Like, he absolutely know he knows so much of the utility. He throws so much utility for big. That I think that alone makes him really hard to think about replacing if you ever wanted to. Um, played for big forever, right? I mean, through all their biggest wins and everything like that, Tizian was right there. And you could argue definitely that Keto, better individual. Hard to say, you know, who moves rounds along faster. And of course, Keto was the first one out. But it doesn't seem unreasonable to try to have Keto in place of Tizian for that reason. A shot from Searson inside of the ladder room. Hex gets close, deals with Tabson's duallys, and then just crawls right back through the underground once again. Freeze. He gets out from Palace, getting distracted by Keto. Searson not able to get into it until he decides to peek through fire, chop down Breeze, keep this one 3v3. Remember, Galil in the hands of Crimbo. Searson with two kills already. And Hex trying to come and join Rush and Cirk, who gets flashed around from Ticket. Fobbin goes in for a second servings. Cirk's down to 37. He's oh. got to be careful now, pinned in this backside. Hex has to come in and alleviate some pressure, and he's got the utility to do it. Yes, they all have. They both have utility, so they, they can score this plan if they want to. But right now, Cirk also has to cross back from Firebox, and he's being locked in by two players in CT. They're dumping nades, but they're so much more concerned with connector, with jungle. They have a molly for CT, but he gets across in the flash. His legs are spotted. Little bit of damage there, but not enough to stop plant. Now Crimbo moves forward. No kit on this play. Hexed going deeper through jungle and inside sandwich. Cirque still stands on until Fobbin catches the trade frag. Little 1v1. Big moment here for Hexed. Just got to finish this one off. 47 HP on Fobbin with a 10 second stick. Hex doesn't peek five seconds in. Walking up, he'll find it. Mm. Favin comes off with a chance for the shot, but Hex closes what EG definitely need. Yeah, took his time with that one. And of course, he, he knew that there was enough time on the clock that it's really unlikely the stick comes through. But after that five second mark, no further sounds. Go ahead for the check. So really nicely played by Hex. And uh, yeah, ends up working out. Of course, Bob is just hoping, hoping that Hex is in connector. That's that's why he's looking yeah, down on that far out. But doesn't work this time. A couple of good A attacks here from EG in the second half. up close but Hex make sure to clear it EG gonna lean back here how proactive do big want to get I'll refresh the smoke on a ramp moments after Cirk comes up and peeks over Neil in there's the entry Ooh, second okay. as Fobbin gets chopped down off catwalk keto not seen here by rush Crimbo extending out from Cat. That'll catch Neil in off guard, so no triple kill for him. And the door is ajar for Big to bring it back. Crimbo's got the timing here. They're not going to be able to get into the B site without him knowing. Yes. I need to take a fast step where they could probably hear it. Keto pushing ramp. They know what's up. Tabson's going to get here in time, so Crimbo and Tabson inside site. Two versus three. 
Rush falls down first. Tapson's dead, but Krimbo's got it. Pistol in his hand, Cirque in the window. And just with that sidearm, he dinks him down to 19. Krimbo, a one-man army at the moment. <gasps> Keto comes through. That flank connects. Breeze walking up close. Just deal with the pistol, and he can't. Oh, my God. Krimbo, hot stuff on that behold. Yeah, talk to him, Krimbo. That's well done. I think they kind of forgot about him a little bit. I'm not sure if they thought he was way back there on cat or maybe they didn't hear the step because it was only one. But they're also let me be a little bit distracted as, as Cirk got a kill on Tabs and thought that could have been him. Keto flank comes in, it's over. Cirk doesn't get the refrag from the window as well. That was a big chance. And that's after the kneel in 2k inside of middle. I, you know, I think no excuse for the rest of this team. They just have to trade. It, it is it is answered back in mid, so it's more. It feels like it was more of a four v three at any one point than a five v three. But I'll mm. shut down here on this one. Spray up close, big. That one's just a technicality through pistols. Damn. You know, bringing it back to the Searson conversation quickly, too, I, I, or excuse me, the Tizian, I do like that, you know, we also know that he's been kept on by Big. I really appreciate the fact that Big, who have been, you know, very committed to this project of bringing back German Counter-Strike, have, have just accumulated all the pieces. Like you said, Krimbo, Favin touted as the two players outside Big to be the best from Germany. Well, now they've got them as well, and they're not going to let Tizian go help anybody else. He is still from, you know, in one degree or another, a part of this project. With enough pieces... Big just gets better and better. Right now we got two pieces pinned under Palace. One of them goes down in Searson, and that opens up the back of Keto. So another chance here for EG. That was an interesting setup by Big. Yop under Balk. I, I, did Searson get flashed off the A ramp? I'm not exactly sure. But look who's here to cover them. Tabson, a 2K. Unanswered, and he's still open. Siphons it all right back into Big's favor. Hex yet again will get a chance to get up towards jungle. Important round for him, but 48 health. Wow. Never even sees it coming, and big, just more and more winning rounds. Damn. Maybe this game won't be so close. I'm starting to get a feeling it won't. I've been saving myself for the comeback. No, he's got to wait. But now they've kind of like got to learn with Rush and then transfer that over to Tim when Tim comes back um, inevitably. But he hasn't actually played this match with them. It's just something else that's going to stall out the inevitable Evil Geniuses formula. Everybody else, you know, prepared off a couple of weeks of practice for this start of the season and Evil Genius is getting left in the dust already even before they jumped in the server. Tough stuff, but this one's going to go down nice and easy for Big, setting up the rematch versus Heroic. A tight game to start the day in that head-to-head. -head. Uh, opponents that they know oh so well. Cirque and Rush. Galils in a 2v5. And, you know, silver linings. It's not elimination for evil geniuses. They're not getting sent down to the showdown just yet, but it will be that fourth spot in this group which I think coming into it is what everybody's expecting, regardless maybe of uh, stand-ins or not. Oof. Come on, dude. That